Gigi. Hey guys, I'm Jasmine with Manifest Fast with Jasmine, and in this video, we're gonna talk about how to make him your husband, how to make him devoted to you, how to make him addicted to you, how to make him obsessed with you, and go gaga for you. So this is something that you can totally do if you know how to manifest. The problem is that there's a lot of people out there trying to manifest, wanting to manifest, but not actually applying manifestational tactics correctly. So if you watch until the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you something that is going to be completely vital to manifesting your specific person in the way that you want to and making him your husband and all that stuff, by the way. I did this last year, I manifested my husband actually within a certain period of time and there was a lot in the way, but actually I didn't acknowledge it so it didn't end up mattering. That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So make sure that you watch all the way to the end. Oh, before we get started, I'm just gonna tell you guys, I go live every single week in my coaching group and I talk a lot about how to manifest your specific person. Right now we're working on an SP challenge, okay? So every week I'm giving you guys a new challenge to manifest your specific person or things that are gonna help you manifest your specific person. So if you like that and you wanna take that, you can find that link in the pinned comment below. The number one thing that gets in people's way when you wanna manifest your specific person is thinking that something is in the way. Now, you might have already known that because we've all heard, oh, circumstances don't matter, but do you know what to do about it? Do you know how to shift this and change this for yourself? So here's what we're gonna talk about because that's pretty important. It's This is like the backbone, foundation, cornerstone of manifesting. If you think that circumstances matter, there is nothing that I can do for you and there is nothing that the universe can do for you and that's it, you're fucked, okay? Because you're gonna have to learn you know what? You are going to learn it. Circumstances don't matter, but how do you know that, right? How do you know that? That is part of the job if you want to manifest. Simply to believe in manifesting means that you believe that there is something else at work besides circumstances. It means you're choosing to believe that you create your own reality. It means that you're choosing to believe that you can create matter. Matter doesn't create matter. Therefore, matter doesn't matter. Matter doesn't determine anything. Don't we already know and believe this? So here's the thing that you say, oh yeah, I believe that, I know that, I know. I hear people all the time like, I know everything that you just said. I know all about this. It's like, okay, well, here's the thing about that. Is that to know is to do. So if you're not doing it, you need to know it a little bit more. What does that mean? We need more continual reinforcement. You're gonna have to keep hearing it until it clicks in a certain way that brings it home for you and you're actually manifesting those results. It will become experienced by you. You will be able to actually act it out. There will be this click where it makes sense to you on a whole nother level like never before. Everyone can manifest. You already are manifesting. But the trouble is that when it comes to certain things like your specific person, then you start thinking that something's in the way. You either think that they're in the way, their family's in the way, maybe distance is in the way, maybe job is in the way, maybe third party is in the way, something is in the way. You think something's in the way. Maybe you think you're not pretty enough, good enough, whatever. There is no such thing as something being in the way. There is a such thing as your perception of something being in the way. That's possible, but that's the only possibility of anything that ever could actually be in your way. Let me tell you a story, okay? When I was manifesting my husband the second time, his family did not like that idea, especially his mom. Now, he would never marry me if he knew that his mom did not approve. Um, I did not care because I knew that I believe in manifesting and I know what's really going on here. So I knew that this was not going to be any reason why we're not going to be together. That just made no sense to me. I was like, this, I don't know what's gonna happen here, but I just know that this is not gonna be the reason why we're not together. It's not gonna be a thing. And 
you know, a lot of people, they come to me and they're like, oh, well, you know, this keeps coming up and this is so triggering for me. And every time it comes up, it just throws me off and it bothers me. And how do you do it when circumstances are right there? Circumstances are there all the time, but you believe what you believe. So for me, circumstances were there the whole time. You know, he, my, my husband would like call me and be like, oh, I don't know what we're going to do about this. I don't know my mom and my family, and I don't know what we're gonna do about this. How are we gonna get them to agree? And I was the one who was like soothing him. And I was like, you know, cause I believed it just wasn't, I just knew it wasn't an issue, it wasn't an issue. And, and I would just like pep talk him. And I kid you not, this is exactly what happened. Okay, so here I am, and, and some of you guys look at this like, oh, how am I supposed to ignore it? And how is it gonna work out? Here's exactly what happened in my situation when I completely knew that circumstances did not matter. Okay, one day, Mo and I were hanging out together, me and my husband, and his mom called him on the phone. And she said, come over tonight and bring Jasmine. And we were like, oh my God, are we in trouble? Like, what is going on? How does she even know that we're together? Like, okay, so we went and we didn't know what we were gonna be walking into, but we walked into it. And when we walked into the house together, the whole family was there to congratulate us on our marriage. And we both felt like we just stepped into the twilight zone and we didn't know what was going on. It made sense to me because I had been very, very stable in my vibration. I was very secure. I was very sure. I was in my knowing. I was in my end. I just knew that it was going to work out and it did. And when we both walked out of that house on that day, we were both like, what just happened? Like, you know, Mo is not, my husband is not even really like me. Like he doesn't talk about manifesting and quantum leaping. But when we both got into that car on the way home, like, or to go home, we were both like, what just happened? Like, did we just go get into a new reality? Like we're in a new reality. What is this? And it was, it was that cool. But I literally manifested it and attracted it because I just, did not give any credence to circumstances. I didn't give it any feeling. I didn't give it any thought. I just didn't let it get in the way. And that is what manifesting means. Manifesting really, really means that whatever's there doesn't matter because you believe. You believe and know and you're aware of the greater power. Alignment. The power that creates worlds. You believe in infinity and you know that you manifest. So if you know and believe that you create your own reality, just keep reminding yourself. You have to continually reinforce these things in your life. And that has been one of the most important things that I've ever done in my life besides, you know, having to bite the bullet and just apply, right? In the best ways that I can and the best things that I can, just making sure that I'm applying manifesting, not just thinking about it, not just talking about it, not just wanting it, really, really, aligning and doing it, really, really reaching these, these peaceful places that allow me to align and manifest. That is so important. But the reason why I've been able to do this at all is because I continually reinforce. I always keep putting the good stuff in. I always remind myself of what I believe in and what I want and what I believe is, is possible and what I believe is true. Okay, so it's super duper important to keep yourself supported and surrounded by the good information. And it's super important to let go of the struggle and remember that your work is to believe and to know and to make it easy. Every single time that you think about a circumstance, come back to the only power that matters, alignment. Learn how to drop it all and just focus on what you know is infinitely true. That infinite truth is the power that manifests. Live yourself, live your life in a way that reminds yourself of that and you'll be able to manifest. If you like this video, make sure that you click that bell button, subscribe. When you subscribe, you have to click that bell and select all to receive all notifications. I go live on YouTube periodically, but you're not gonna catch it unless if you have those notifications on. 
I also post my unlisted videos in the community section on YouTube, so make sure that you are visiting the community section so that you see all of my posts. Also, if you wanna join the SP challenge that we have going on right now, that link is gonna be in the pinned comment below. If you can't make it live, you can watch the replay. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. That's easy.